11.30 at night and look at these snowflakes. Look at the size of them. They are huge. <sighs> Darn it. I thought we were done with this. There's my car getting covered. Bailey's like, mm, not sure. I, I got a pee, but not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Okay, what have we got today? We've got the cinnamon spice. Okay, let's have some. Hello, Yarna Bees. How are you today? Ah, we are on day 12. Day 12, I think, of the 25 Days of Blissmas. George is home, but he doesn't want to be in front of the camera. He hasn't shaved. He says he, he's not beautified enough. Sunday mode. He's on Sunday mode. <laughs> Look at me. I'm like, I'm a ragamuffin. That's why I wear this hat, so I don't have to brush my hair. <laughs> Oh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> okay, so once again, we have the cinnamon something. <laughs> I can't even remember now <laughs> that, that we have before. So I already know what this one tastes like. <sighs> yep. Yep, it's good. Okay, so if you are just here for the first time, today is one of the episodes of the 25 Days of Blissmas. Oh, excuse me, I just woke up, guys. Uh, 25 Days of Blissmas that I'm doing with Rosalie at Yarn It Out, where we've done a gift exchange of 25 gifts, and uh, we do it right up till Christmas. So, yeah. Um, like I said before, Rosalie didn't have time to wrap the rest of these gifts because she was moving so let's get into the box oh <laughs> oops <laughs> okay we have a wiener dog <laughs> look at him doesn't he look happy he looks so happy his ears are flying he's in motion Got his hat and coat on. He's ready for the snow, which we got some of last night. Oh, good Lord. Okay. So he's going into the tree, which I can't reach around. And I'll put him, I'll put him up here so that you guys can see him tomorrow. Thank you. So yeah, the mittens have a friend. Oh, can I reach around? I don't know. I, no. <laughs> okay. I'll figure it out. <laughs> so yeah, he's so cute. He's got like happy face. He looks happy to go in the snow. Hey Bailey, look. There's another dog in the house. Oh. Oh, if you could see the look. Uh oh, 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 oh. Hello. <laughs> oh, she didn't look impressed. <laughs> Okay, well, we we'll just have to put this one a little higher up in the tree. <laughs> okay. All right. So, the question that we did yesterday was, which popular holiday plant is known to be an aphrodisiac? Now, there was a couple of answers. There was actually three answers. Um but two were the most popular answers. One of them was right. Uh, but somebody said pine, like from the pine tree, 
which was kind of an interesting thing. Um, I think she said that pine was an aphrodisiac, but I can't remember the, the whole quote. But anyway, um, a lot of people said the poinsettia, and I thought poinsettias were poisonous. Are they not? Um, I guess. Or is it just they're poisonous to animals? You, I can't. You can get wood from pine. Oh, I just got that. <laughs> oh, man. Well, aphrodisiac, right? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, okay. Anyway. So that's really kind of right, too, then, right? <laughs> I don't know if you guys and, heard that, but so, something doesn't necessarily have to be edible to be an aphrodisiac. Oh, that's the other thing that you're um, you're fixed on. You it's something you ingest in order for it to be an aphrodisiac. That's not necessarily because certain creams and lotions and other things are also supposed to be an aphrodisiac. So oh, and there's certain, smells. Certain perfumes are, are supposedly an aphrodisiac. Oh, okay. The definition of an aphrodisiac is that it enhances your um, sexual enjoyment or performance. So it doesn't necessarily have to be something that you eat. I hope you guys heard all that. Um, that's true. That's true. It doesn't have to be something that you ingest. Huh. Okay. Smarty, to do the trick. Oh, smarty pants. Okay, fine. Anyway, that's why football is an aphrodisiac. Yeah, football's your aphrodisiac, <laughs> which I'm football's on right now, and I've got him. Got I have him with the volume down. So, <laughs> so is that like foreplay? <laughs> for, get it? Foreplay? Yeah. Put four, yeah, it. four plays. You know. Four plays. <laughs> four downs, whatever. Yeah. That's yeah. funny. You get four plays, you get a first down. If you don't get it, then you lose the ball. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Anyway, so the answer was mistletoe, which, okay, duh, mistletoe. You're and supposed to kiss. also a four play. Then we go four. Oh, jeez. You, you need to be on here. <laughs> anyway, uh, so, yeah, you're supposed to kiss under the mistletoe. So, yeah, okay. You don't eat it, though, because I, I heard that that one is poisonous, which is really ridiculous. How do they know it's an aphrodisiac if you can't ingest it? So I don't know. Anyways, so I'm not going to pull a yesterday and forget to do the question for today. So here we go. Oh, sorry. So how many ghosts show up? in a Christmas carol. Yeah, don't say anything. How many ghosts show up in a Christmas carol? Okay, write your comments down below. Um, I finished my sweater, guys. <laughs> and it's so pretty. And it's so heavy and it's so squishy and it's fluffy and it's comfortable. Oh, I wish you guys, because I'm going to put a picture of me in it or something. Look at that. Look at that. So it's a turtleneck. And then I did the sleeves with um, basic uh, and Premier Basic or something. And so the cuffs are like a five inch cuff. But look at that. Is oh man. It's, oh, hang on. Sorry about that. Okay, so I wish that you could see this better, but the lighting is not being my friend right now. But it is really pretty. It 
I was really happy with the way that it turned out. Although I wish I kind of wish that I had have done single crochets instead of half double crochets because it is a little holy up in the um, neck area. But that's okay. You just wear a tank top underneath it and you're good to go. So this didn't take very long at all. Like at all. It took me a day to do this, like the sweater and uh, like half another day to do the arms and the cuffs. That was it. So yeah, so that's it. Okay, everybody. So thanks for joining me. And uh, I guess I will see you tomorrow for the 13th day. And uh, yeah, so I will talk to you then. Okay. Bye. <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Let go! <laughs> <laughs>